Warehouse Process Types When different products arrive at the warehouse, they are handled in a different way. Well, at least SAP EWM provides the possibility to handle them differently. Some products may go straight to the put-away to be stored in some storage bin, and others need to be, let's say, deconsolidated or counted first. In SAP EWM, this can be set up with separate warehouse process types. In the extended warehouse management, the warehouse process type controls and manages the movements in the warehouse. And the EWM system will work on all the different warehouse processes, like for example the goods received, the goods issue, posting changes and repacking with the help of such warehouse process types. Every warehouse task that is created in SAP EWM has such a warehouse process type assigned to it. And this warehouse process type also influences the creation of the warehouse tasks. The warehouse process type is connected to the activity of the movement that is performed in the warehouse, like for example the put away or the stock removal or internal relocations. In some simple and easy setups, the warehouse process type can for example include a storage type or even a specific storage bin to create movements from or to. For more complex movements than just going straight to a specific storage type or a storage bin, the warehouse process type can also be connected to a layout-oriented storage process control or a warehouse order creation rule, for example. The warehouse process type is determined during the creation of the warehouse requests, like for example outbound delivery requests and the eventual outbound delivery order. Or it can be maintained during the different steps of a process-oriented storage control. In SAP Extended Warehouse Management, the warehouse process type is assigned to an activity and a warehouse process category that controls the direction for the actual movement in the warehouse, like for example a put-away or a stock removal activity. Warehouse Process Categories The warehouse process categories define the different goods movement types in SAP EWM. The following ones come as a predefined setup in SAP EWM. Like for example, the put away, stock removal, internal warehouse movements, physical inventory, goods receipt posting, goods issue posting and posting changes. The warehouse process categories for goods received and goods issue postings are just used SAP internally for, well, you guessed it, posting a goods received and a goods issue. Storage type and storage bin. As we already mentioned, warehouse process types can also include information about storage types and storage bins, like for example a source type or bin for the put-away tasks and a destination type or bin for stock removal tasks. And if you wonder, the dynamic bins from the SAP WM world that were named after the delivery number, they do not exist in the SAP EWM world anymore. But of course, not all or, just to be even more clear, it is not that common to assign one specific storage bin to a certain warehouse process type. Trust me, you do not want all your picking warehouse tasks to point to one single bin in the goods issue zone. This would only lead to locking issues when a parallel picking process is in place. But for small warehouses, this can be a viable option that can be set up and customized very quickly and does not require much effort. But for bigger and more complex warehouses, 
We do not recommend using just one predefined storage bin for every warehouse task that gets created with this specific warehouse process type. 